What is up, mad, beautiful world? Three is such a magical number, isn't it? Especially for me, because my friends and I always come in the Holy Trinity. It's bizarrely, bizarrely, bizarrely cool that sometimes two of my friends in our circle remind me so much of another pair of friends in another circle. I guess it's because I attract certain personals in my life. One of them being that friend in my circle who is the youngest but taller than me. And also the most filthy-minded among the three of us. You know exactly who you are. <laughs> and, also, and secondly, we also have that other friend who is the legit mom pa slash parent figure and is the most kiddish and also sometimes the most innocent who gets freaked out by the youngest talking filthy shit. <laughs> But, so sometimes, no matter how much you love them, the cursed third wheel is always there. Sometimes by accident, and sometimes purposefully. Something is wrong with my tongue today. The most, for, well, in my experience, I'm not sure if it's the same for everyone else who's watching this, but the most common third wheels for me is when... Okay, well, I've never experienced this, but some others did. When two of your friends become a thing, or, you know, when they're sharing an interest you have absolutely no clue about. And this one I've experienced a lot. When two friends get together, of course they would want more privacy. You're happy for them. But also slowly dying inside. Why can't no one love me? For some, for some people. Trying to like shared interest. Even though it's clearly not your st thing. No matter how much you try to like it. As much as your friends do. Otherwise you feel like a ghost. Even though you really do not want to. Even though you try to deny it. And I, I feel like I feel like this all the time. I have this sort of obsession of ha of of sometimes wanting to please people that I am very emotionally attached to, like we talked about in in day two. It really it really bums me out because I don't I don't want to let the person down, which is why I rather not share these feelings and keep it inside. But again, I guess I have friends, I guess I'm lucky enough to have friends who understand how that feels like because they go through the same thing. But you know, basically, we humans do not like change. It's garbage to us. But it happens for better opportunities and more memorable moments. And no matter what happens, I'll always have my holy trinities. You don't have to share the same likes with ev with all your friends. Everyone should be different because you get to learn something from one another. And it makes it more fun than just being exactly the same. You would fight more often and there's not much to learn about from each other. And liking stuff shouldn't be stressful. <laughs> when did you become... When eventually two of your friends become a couple, I I, I literally don't know uh, how other people deal with this, but I guess from what I've what I've observed from others' experiences, eventually eventually the feeling dies down, and you know you're happy for them regardless, and you know some people were lucky enough. Even though these two friends are a couple, they still they still keep each other as a three. Being being a third wheel is always gonna is always gonna come, but it's also gonna go. And if you got friends who never give you a reason to feel left out, they're really good keepers. You know, don't don't 
don't push them, don't push them away when something when change gets a little rough you know talk to them be honest with them with how you're with how you're feeling and i'm sure they'll understand if they do it purposely though run you don't need that crap and uh, i guess that's i guess that's all for today and you can share in the comments below who whom are your holy trinities and before i end this video i would like to bring in a series suggestion called this is us if there's anyone out there who hasn't watched this is us yet you are living under a rock <laughs> just kidding but you really got to watch this is us and bring five boxes of tissues with you any fans out there who watch it like a religion big three stay fabulously weird mad hattie signing off for now